Good afternoon, everybody. As all of you know now, this morning, three law enforcement officers in Baton Rouge were killed in the line of duty. Three others were wounded. One is it still in critical condition. As of right now, we don't know the motive of the killer. We don't know whether the killer is set out to target police officers or whether he gunned them down as they responded to a call. Regardless of motive, the death of these three brave officers underscores the danger that police across the country confront every single day. And we as a nation have to be loud and clear that nothing justifies violence against law enforcement. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us and the rule of law that makes society possible. Now, earlier this afternoon, I spoke with Governor Edwards and Mayor Holden, and I offered them the full support of the federal government and reiterated my full support for law enforcement in Baton Rouge and for police officers across the country. I also spoke to the Attorney General. The FBI has already been on the scene, and through the work of all levels of government, justice will be done. Most of all, our hearts go out to the families who are grieving. Our prayers go out to the officer who's still fighting for his life. This has happened far too often, and I've spent a lot of time with law enforcement this past week. I'm surrounded by the best of the best every single day, and I know whenever this happens, wherever this happens, you feel it. Your families feel it, but what I want you to know today is the respect and the gratitude of the American people for everything that you do for us. And five days ago, I traveled to Dallas for the memorial service of the officers who were slain there. I said that that killer would not be the last person who tries to make us turn on each other, nor will today's killer. It remains up to us to make sure that they fail. That decision is all of ours.